this team, the, the, the core of the team, might well be the team for the future. Just Zico, like in competition, Diego Ju. When you deal with players, kuna psychology ya mchezaji, na kuna psychology ya mfanyi kazi yo kazi ingine. To start for us to prove to coach, kwamba we are the right outfit and combination. It was tough for us to prove to the fans, kwamba office na bench will make the right choice kutuchukua. And also, for some of the senior players and all over team. Simon Musira Mulama, born on 6th August 1980 in Homa Bay to a cop father, which meant the movements in his life would be abundant. Utotoni, nikiwa mdogo, nikiangalia birth certificate, inasema kwamba lizaliwa Homa Bay. Lakini mimi nikeza kumbuka na kumukamia kaya zamani, nikiwa mdogo, tukiwa na Ivasha, kisha mbapo nikianza kuingia shule, nasari, niko wapa Catholic, shule ya katholika hapa karibu karumangi. Uh, tumesoma nasari hapo, uh, kisha tukaingia primary, Dr. Agri primary. Uh, kisha mwaka pili, tulikuwa tukenda Mombasa, tulikuwa Fahari primary school, kwa naishi hapo karibu, tulikuwa naishi makupa, police station, mzea, likuwa askari. So bada hapo Garudi, Garudi Dr. Agri primary school, ambapo um, Apo apo katika yuo age sasa karibu eight nine years kaza kuchiza mpireko organized kidogo malaki from a young age nasari school kuna chesa tu you see sometimes unapata saile watu na chaguana uya kopande tu uya kopande tu ni splitting mkuatimbil kila mtu nataka kuwe pande yake so right away unaza kupata sense ya kwamba pengi ni kuna na kitu special ambayo watu pengi ni unaza penda kujiusi shana yuo so tunacheza tuili ya mta kwa neighborhood hapa kule nenda mta ingine nenda ngei kule lewa nimelilo huruma flats mta wa huruma mathare constituency so neighborhood za mathare isili mlangu kubwa dandora karubangi korogocho babadogo hizo ndo neighborhood kwa nacheza mpira sana tukiwa dogo so at nine years, kaza kuchiza mpira mbae kwa organized a little bit more. Na almost at the same time, dio maisa, Matare Youth Sports Association inaanza. Ambao walikuwa na organized leagues za youths. Aim ilikuwa ni kupatia youth a sporting chance. Majority walikuwa ni watoke kwa street. So at nine years, maisa imeanza, tunacheza U12, Dr. Agri Primary, ni kama lizia hapo Dr. Agri Primary by the time tunafika 12 years coach wetu ambaye na mweshimu sana mpaka leo Dixon Ochieng na he used to work with Standard Standard Bank alikuwa metukusanya na kwa kikosi kizuri sana pamoja we were young with the guys that were a little bit older kina Geoffrey Okoth Jambe walikuwa mbele akuwa now we were almost the same age group lakini walikuwa mbele tu kwa hatu wa moja At 12 years, sasa tukona team nito Volcano, ambayo ilikuwa ilikuwa ni team zuri, team zuri sana. Tulishinda a lot of championships, tulicheza a lot of tournaments. In 1992, tukacheza Network Analysis Cup, ilikuwa U14s. We had a lot of success na youth team yetu ambayo ilikuwa nito Volcano United. Ilikuwa under Huruma Huruma Sports Club. A lot of success with that. So. Ni kamaliza, ni kamaliza. Dr. Agri Primary, having played through the age groups za 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 Maisa, U12, U14, then the next step ilikuwa ni U16. Nambapo nili from Dr. Agri Primary ni kenda kenda Kakamega High School. So at Kakamega High School, you have ilikuwa na historia ya kukuona timu nzuri sana. The 
the green commandos walikuwa na sifa ya ku produce very very talented players kukuwa na very very good competitive team kwa uh, teams kwa kwa michezo za shule secondary school ball games uh, there was a history ya wao kushinda national championship kwa muda mrefu sana so when i was joining ilikuwa ni process because siko nimesomea western leo nimesoma Nairobi so ilikuwa ni process ya kwenda ku try out you have to go try out prove yourself uoneshe why you need to be admitted through football and not as a regular as regular student so nikaingia uwanjani kuingia tu ile liga kama mega high school uh, games time ikafika nikaambwa ni vai ninge uwanjani right away kuna watu ambao nilikuwa tushakutana kwa hizi tournament za mitaani sikukuwa mgeni nilisikia niko home though it was my first session sikuwa ni mwaiona mtu kulikuwa na captain wetu alikuwa ndio head boy alikuwa very good player he ended up playing for utalii alikuwa anaitwa Wilba Fosochieng kwa namuita Ocha defender mzuri sana akaenda kasomea utalii pale pia akacheza utalii uh, college club so nika nikapata chance nikafanya mazoezi everyone was impressed i felt at home sikuwa nava sana because already na feel niko na watu wale wananijua watu tunajuana heshima iko juu so um nikajieleza nikapatiwa chance Chris Makoha ndiye alikuwa coach the famous uh, the late coach ambaye namtambua sana a lot of respect for him kando na kuwa amepumzika ola ilaze uh, roho yake malipema peponi lakini ali alinipatia alinipatia insight alinipatia ufunuo mkubwa sana to when tulifika sasa kwa shule then to kama Chris Makoha na Dennis Munyendo who uh, before pia malize career alikuwa ni mchezaji wa bola alicheza Leopards alicheza MOW afikiri pia alicheza kwa timu ya taifa wakati fulani uh, walikuwa hapo kama coach na assistant coach ambao walikuwa to guide na kukupatia advice how to play positioning na mambo kama hiyo so a little bit more advanced than ile football ya mitaani so katika mega high school kacheza mwaka wa kwanza tukaenda nationals i was not uh, actively kwa, kwa, kwa starting lineup but coach alikuwa shani identify walikuwa ni leta juu pole pole um to be made it to the nationals made it to the nationals and then um uh, lakini tuka 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 we were banned kwa sababu tulichezesha mchezaji ambaye alikuwa hayuko eligible um uh, Steve Okumu pia moyo ilaze mwisho <laughs> yake malipema peponi ndugu yake Dennis Oliech uh, and so the following year tulikuwa nje and in 1995 tukakuja na tukakaa na team nyingine uh, more youthful uh, very very aggressive very ambitious uh, understanding very well kwamba kuna mali tulikosea pale nyuma and we have to make things right this is a club uh, this is a uh, this is a school that has history this is a team that iko na history kwa community kakamega high school ilikuwa ni kama mtoto wa wakazi wa kakamega so uh, you had to make things right so uh, ilipofika 1995 tukapambana we had a very very good uh, side like na Bonventure Maruti among others um, Morris Sunguti Jeff Aroyando uh, John Toza Mimo uh, Sebastian Ouma na Chris sasa hivi ni coach wa AP goalkeeping ama kwa technical bench a lot of good players walikuwa hapo Geoffrey Njuguna Kasisi um, basi tuka tukacheza mpaka nationals tukaenda Kaaga Boys High School kucheza finals za, za nationals tukacheza we got to the finals against uh, Ufafa Jeriko ya Nairobi uh, about Luashinda Ufafa Jeriko alikuwa mchezaji mzuri akina Brian Okumu uh, Eric Omondi Tojo uh, Brian, uh, George Waweru alikuwa na they had a very 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 good side in 1996 Mulama moved from Kakamega High School to Kisi High School again it was his prowess on the pitch that facilitated this move here he was to be welcomed by names equal or above his such as Joseph Kamanda, Daniel Sakwa and the late Vincent Othiambo, Sebo. Later he was to be joined by John Mwiruri, Ramadan Balala, Sunday Othiambo, Evan Zomondi, Jadu, Jafeth Kenyatta, brother to Ken Kenyatta, Hassan Ndeje, Geoffrey Okoth Jambe and many others. After 95, 1996 sikukaa sana kwa Mega High School then I moved to uh, Kisi High School uh, kwa sababu za ujana tu si pia nilikuwa vijana kitambo nilikuwa na, na tunasumbuliwa na mambo ya ujana <laughs> so um uh, nika nikaambiwa sisi kwa shule ni tena kwa sababu ya utundu so I had to join another school luckily Kisi High School walikuwa hapo kana embrace the, the uh, head teacher alikuwa Mr Kinaru 
he had been at Kakamega High School until 1992. So akaondoka kenda Kisi. So in 95 when we played against Kisi High School, um, we met Kisi High School kwa funga magoli mawili na mimi nilikuwa. So when he saw me right away akanambia hey, kuja uingie shuleni. And I really really appreciate your nafasi alinipatia because nilitumia kurekebisha eh, mambo mengi ambayo alikuwa anafanya hapo nyuma na, na kuanga kwa more focus na kumaliza shule na, 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 na reputation nzuri. I tried my best nikamaliza but along the way nika join uh, Gusi Mwalimu ambao alikuwa anacheza provincial league kapiga kwa muda kisha Shabana FC they were really 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 struggling uh, kubaki kwa league uh, walikuwa jaribu recruitment so majority of the fans ambao walikuwa wanakuja kuona matches za Gusi Mwalimu na Kisi High School wakaambia we you guys need to look at this kid na mumchukue so pakaja coach mmoja mganda uh, jina lake linatoka akaja akaniidentify akaanza kufanya nifanye nao mazoezi lakini pakaja coach mmoja mzungu uh, Jacobson Fleming uh, Danish pia akaja akaona and right away akaniambia niaje wewe from now on nataka kuja mazoezi tutakupatia card uko unatuchezea so nilikuwa among the players ambao walichukuliwa na kujaribu kusaidia Shabana kubakia kwa ligi and we did a good job because Shabana ilibaki we win most of the we won most of the matches in the second leg uh, our last match was against FC Leopards up uh, uh, Nyayo Stadium ndo tuliwatandika mabao mbili good memories oh!